Okay, I'm standing in front of the house getting ready to walk in and the house next door needs a little paint job over there. Uh, and looking down the street is the tennis courts right behind the school and kids out there playing soccer. And then across from that is, uh, I think it's like their fish, wildlife and parks for the tribe. But directly across the street, nice homes, no junky cars. Looks like a real nice neighborhood, beautiful mountain view. And next door there's a U-Haul, so I'm not sure if they're coming or going. In fact, I sold that house <laughs> quite a few years ago. All right, so now headed up the stairs. It's kind of dark in here because she's got all the drapes pulled, I think, to keep it cool. So nice entry, ceramic tile floor. Nice light fixture. And like I said, all the windows have these shutters on them, which is really nice. Um, front window has been replaced, but the, but the windows to the side are still the old wood windows. The floor, I'm not sure. It looks like vinyl plank. I'm pretty sure it's vinyl plank. And then here is another fixture, which this would probably be more like the dining room. She's got the air conditioning cranked up. It's freezing to me. And then into the kitchen. So it has been repainted. A few little chips on it that should be repaired. But the old cabinets, it's been been painted, old countertop, older dishwasher, pretty standard refrigerator. This window definitely needs to be replaced. Ceramic sink. This back window is wood but real nice yard and a nice house behind us really private big juniper trees there and then a vinyl privacy fence on that side of the house there's the garage that definitely needs some attention needs to be painted but it does have a looks like a pretty good metal roof on it so from here, I will head upstairs. Oh no, let me get these bedrooms. So here's the bathroom between the two bedrooms. So this is your main bath. Pedestal sink. Been some updating, you can tell with the can lights. And then there's your vanity. Then this is that bedroom, kind of an L shape with no closet, but a decent size. I think you could definitely fit a queen, queen or a king bed here if you wanted, and a dresser or an armoire on this, on this wall. And all three of these windows are the old windows. baseboard heat which is very very common here because the electricity is so cheap on the reservation so we have although there is a vent in here so it might have some central going on here too there's I'll have to look downstairs and then in the master bedroom 
and there is there's an overhead fan but it's really dark in here <laughs> she's got it all darked out but she's got a nightstand on both sides that looks like a queen size dresser another dresser with with room for a bigger dresser if you wanted and then in the closet like I said it does go back quite a ways on both sides yeah and then she has all these little cubbies for her shoes Now I will head upstairs, move the little doggy gate, okay, I don't know how this is going to show, but Yeah, I, I'm about 5'10". I used to be 5'11", but I think think I shrunk. I have a couple inches above my head, so I'd give it six foot. But walking through, there's the flooring. Like I said, they started to paint it. But plenty of storage. Lots of storage. And then this looks like some kind of a Berber type carpet. And now we'll go check out the basement. I have not checked out the basement yet. Okay, I just came down the basement. And there's the door to the backyard and behind this curtain and this does go around maybe an old oil burning furnace but next door to it is a wood stove that looks like it may have been been used converted over to wood not quite sure about that because there are vents for central heating but if your ex is in the HVAC, <laughs> he'd be able to figure it out. So lots of storage, and that just kind of goes up. And it doesn't appear. In fact, there's a baseboard heater right there. And since it's, it's, this is all drywall, I don't notice any water stains, which is very common in Polson. We're on a very high water table. So usually there's a sump pump. Yeah, there's another... Um, baseboard heater uh, but this could definitely be somebody's bedroom be hard to call it legal though because I don't believe that window would meet code for egress and there's really not a closet in here so then coming around Here's a little a laundry area. There's your hot water tank. Um, got some storage here and place to fold clothes. Not sure if the washer and dryer will stay. Tell us on the uh, listing. And then right next to the laundry is the little bathroom. Pretty basic, but it looks like it was done not too long ago. The washer that died, <laughs> yeah. 
lot of old paint here. And here's the, the furnace. So, life. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. And then here's the wood stove right next to it. And see, that looks much newer. And that goes into the chimney there. And this goes into the system too. So that would be something in a home inspection or hopefully um, Mark could get out here and really check that out. Now I'm going to head to the backyard. So I am headed to the backyard and here in this little uh, entry from the backyard is a nice big pantry closet. And then the back door, storm door with the doggy door. And they have covered this deck with some kind of a coating which is nice. And then you got this little offers a little bit of shade. Yeah, this is a nice nice place to enjoy the yard. Yeah, I was right. That was an old oil furnace cuz there's the tank. So now we'll go check out the yard. I can hear somebody's lawnmower going. But this is nice. This is very, very private. And that, there's your, it looks like your old, old lilac. Be beautiful and right around Mother's Day. Pretty simple. She got a couple raised flower beds here. Well, this is kind of a big surprise. It's a lot bigger than I thought. And there is some insulation. Big, big two car. And there, I'm not sure if that's working, but there's your auto garage door. And garbage truck comes down here, picks up the garbage. There's the nice uh, little cross the street. But this is a big garage. So, anyway, talk to you soon.